Yeah! I stopped selling Christmas merch in friggin' five days, so if you're gonna get it, get it now! Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you get by if you smile. Anyway, what is up you guys? Uh, I'm Charmix, and this video is uh, it's, it's a call to action. It's a call to action. If you guys are not aware, I've made a few videos on the subject now. COPA or COPA, however you want to say it, is uh, it's a new rule implemented by the FTC and it's going to absolutely destroy YouTube. I've talked about it a few times. If you aren't aware, it's basically making it so you have to classify content whether it's for kids or not for kids, but the guidelines or the, um, what makes it for kids and what makes it not for kids is so vague that basically any family-friendly content could be classified as for kids. And if you, uh, don't say a video is for kids, but the FTC thinks it is, you can get fined, like, $42,000 or something like that, and that's per video. So, uh, this is a massive, a massive issue, and, uh, the whole thing comes into effect on January 1st. Now, as I said, I've mentioned this a few times, but what I forgot to mention is that the FTC is actually allowing public comments on their website regarding this issue. So you can go to their website and you can leave a comment letting them know how you feel about this issue. Now we have up until December 6th to leave a comment regarding the uh, problem and hopefully they will read the comments and uh, decide to change the COPA rule or at least amend it or, or make it make it more clear on what's kid content and what's not kid content because at the moment like, so many YouTube creators that I've watched are being affected by this, and they shouldn't be. Like, animation channels are getting wiped out. People who play games on uh, YouTube are, are gonna get, like, wiped out. So much content that is not for kids falls under the for kids category because the rules are so vague. So, this is a, this video is a call to, call to action, everyone. I'm going to link in the description, and I'll actually put it in the top comment. It'll be a link to the FTC website where you can leave a comment regarding this problem. Now, if you are going to leave a comment, I ask that you, it be thoughtful. I do, do not be rude. Someone has to review it. So if it's rude, they're just like, no, right? Do not be rude. We have to let the FTC know that their rules are so vague. It's so outdated on YouTube as it is. You can't make non-family friendly content. You have to make family friendly content. Otherwise, you know, you can't, you can't make money. You have to make family friendly content. But, with the new rules from the FTC, it makes it so that the family-friendly content could be kid-friendly, even though it's not. So it hurts the creators that way, because now the creators don't know what kind of content to make. If they make non-family-friendly content, they get hurt. And if they make family-friendly content, they'll get hurt. We have to get the FTC to, to, to amend or change the law to make it clearer on what is kids' content and what is not kids' content. Because, they actually said that games and fun are considered to be kid content or something like that. Like, if you say the words games and fun, it's like for kids, which is so stupid because adults like games. Most people who make video games are adults and most people who play them are adults because you have to have a lot of money to buy games. Oh my goodness, it's so stupid. So this video is a call to action. If you want to leave a comment, Please uh, click the link in the description or the, uh, it should be the top comment, I'll try to pin my own comment. But go leave a comment, be thoughtful, don't just be rude and hateful, be thoughtful about what you're saying. Mention that their guidelines of what falls under kids friendly content is so vague it could be anything. You know, we have up until December 6th, this is the last hope, we have up until December 6th to uh, get our thoughts out there so that the people at the FTC can see and then they can change their mind regarding the rules or maybe they can fix the rules to make it a lot easier to tell what's kids content and what's not kids content because like you have to be 13 years old or older to even use YouTube to begin with so this problem shouldn't even be this, sh this shouldn't even exist this problem should not even exist but it does because parents are stupid and parents don't regulate what their kids are watching or whatever and Okay, let's say that this FTC thing goes through and that kids content is banned on the site. That's not going to stop kids from coming here. 
Now kids are gonna come to YouTube and they're not gonna watch kids content, they're gonna watch content that they probably shouldn't be watching. You know, content with a lot of bad words, content that's really dirty. Uh, they shouldn't be watching that. You can ban the kids content, but it's not gonna stop kids from coming to, to YouTube to view other content. And then what? Then what? Huh? The kids are viewing adult content, but so all of a sudden, the people making adult content are gonna be punished because kids are watching their content? Like, where does it end? It's a freaking circle. It's so stupid. The FTC has to understand that what they're doing is gonna absolutely destroy YouTube. It's gonna destroy so many people's you know, their jobs, it, it's gonna wipe out, like, you know, Jane Animations and The Odd Ones Out? They're gonna be destroyed from this. I freaking love them. They're gonna be wiped out because it's animation. You can't have animation on here anymore because it's targeting kids. Even though I think the large majority of viewers to Jane Animations and The Odd Ones Out are not kids. But the FTC doesn't know that. Anyway, so that's it for this video. This is a call to arms. We have up until December 6th. Uh, to leave a comment on the FTC website. There's actually also a petition. I'll le leave that link in the description, but I don't particularly think the petition will do much. I think it's more of the comments that the FTC will most likely see because it's on their freaking website. So, you know, you, I, do you know what? Sign, sign the freaking petition and leave a comment. Sure, let's go for both. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, I'm a little bit heated at the moment, but I'll see you guys next time. Boop.